Welcome back to Let's Play God Hand. This is Kung Fu Jesus. This is Medibot. And we're gonna fight a boss now. The Masked Man. Oh no, who could this mysterious masked man be? Who is I, this man that we have not encountered? I don't know, but he sounds like quite a man. Yes. He yes, asked me. What is this man going to do to us? I don't know, but shh. Wait, you're not a human, are you? He was reading the Daily God Hand. That's not a man at all. That's clearly a gorilla. Clearly. Yes, this is the gorilla fight. And it's a pretty awesome fight. He's a wrestler, he has wrestling moves, and he does lots of crazy shit. He's got a pretty slank out here, too. He does. Unfortunately, we're gonna kick his ass, so, you Doesn't know. seem like that bad of a guy, but maybe he's just trying to fight someone worthy of, uh, his skill. Maybe, but he, the thing is about this guy, he has a lot of grabs, and a lot of them are really hard to avoid, because if you, if, even if you're back dodging, if he hits your model, you'll still get hit. Oh, still wow. get grabbed, yeah, so. I suppose it's reasonable for a huge wrestling gorilla who also apparently has Zangief's spinning lariat. Yeah, um, he has the Zangief's spinning lariat. The other thing about him is that he, if you're not good at the game, it's really easy to accidentally get your level really high, because that duck dodging thing when he... He does the, uh, the spinning lariat. Breezes your level quite a lot, so uh, you constantly find yourself on a really high level, higher than you're used to. So. It's a special reaction command with gorilla suit class. Right, and it does a lot of damage. Doing a dance. Now the thing, eventually you get to uh, more than half his health, and he calls a little midget guy, a little robot guy, and gets a banana from him. So. Oh. A delicious thing. So here we go, it's a different, uh, the Kung Fu Samba, one of my favorite. Oh, it is, uh, very nice. Hey, this is not France, okay? But you can steal the bananas Great. from Robert, and, um, he gets angry, look at it. Yeah. Oh, I'd be mad too if someone, uh, beat up the guy who was bringing me a bunch of bananas. Yeah, but basically, he's a pretty fun boss to fight once you get the hang of him. The only thing is, when you're fighting him, equip single hit moves in your first two slots or so, because he breaks out of guard if you hit him once, so you have to be really quick on the draw. And there you go. I got That's it. Had a key uh, for you. Nice. Yeah, that's how you get out. And one thing you can do in this fight if you, um, yeah, he's got a zipper in the back, yeah. One thing you can do if you're running, if you're having trouble, is you can, um, you can pull out this, the, uh, the bus stop sign here and throw it at him, or hit him with it or something. Oh, so yeah. That's a tactic you can use. But yeah, I mean, it took him apart rather easily. Mm -hmm. and he seems like an okay guy, though. I mean, he's just doing what he does. So, yeah. And that's it, pretty much. Yeah. And I, oh, um, what am I doing? Going to Shannon's dance school or going shopping? I have no idea. Don't you make these videos? I do, but I'm still scratching my head. I do have 54,000 gold. You should spend some of that before it uh, starts decaying. No, I shouldn't. Not a gold half-life. But gold is, is, is the standard, right? Uh, no, actually, colloidal silver is the standard. Well, actually... So, well, Ron Paul says that gold, our lord and savior, Ron Paul, says gold is our standard. No, he says that colloidal silver miracle remedies are the standard, and you sh it's not approved by the FDA because they don't want you reaping all of its health benefits. So I can maybe rub it on my skin. Does it give me a benefit if I rub it on my skin? Yes. What does it do for me? Yes. Well, well can I ingest it? Does it hurt or, you know, help me or anything? Colonial Silver Remedy. It's good for your bones, and for your teeth, and for every other part of you that makes you, you. And that's it for this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.